Remember Liam's tiny guitar? I have Liam's tiny guitar replacement. Stand by. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rattle Can Guitar Restorations. I am James, and in the two previous episodes, we have discussed this particular instrument, and we're going to show you what you get if you purchase one of these. Uh, this comes from Stumac down in Athens, Ohio. It's, I don't know, two, three hours. Mm, that direction uh, from where I'm at. And lovely little town, or so I hear. And uh, they had a, they've got a sale going on, and uh, I bought some tools, which gave me another discount. So I think I've got this, I think I'm into this kit right now for 80 bucks. And it's, it's going to be a fun build, uh, hopefully as quickly as we can finish uh, accommodating as we can, because I want to get this into young Liam's hands. Um, as quickly as I can. This is the way it comes. Uh, if you just order one of these, uh, it comes in a box like this. I had a bunch of tools kind of chucked in with it as well, but uh, it's anyways. This is not, I'm not listing this as an unboxing because, well, if you've looked at the past two episodes, I've been talking about this and I've had it out because I'm not that guy who gets a something, a package, and he lets it sit in the corner for six months to open it because that that's wrong. Um, no, we're gonna open it like the day we get it. Anyways, when you open it up, uh, this is what you're gonna see. Uh, we have an instruction manual. We also have a cautionary note here. Please remove bridge first, then pick guard. Delicate wires are attached. So be nice, you know who you are. We'll take out some of the protective foamies. We will extract the instrument, and then there is also a goodie bag as well. Yeah, everybody wants to talk to me now. We're gonna pull this out and reveal what we have. According to the marketing literature that I can find, uh, this is a mahogany body and neck an Indian laurel wood fretboard, plastic nut, two single coil pickups, ashtray bridge, uh, volume, tone, and pickup selector switch. Uh, these are all normal sized parts. This obviously is not normal sized, although it is the same width this direction as a fender style neck. This is obviously shrunk, but these parts are normal sized because they're, they're attempting to explore and exploit um, a new product line with as minimal custom parts as you could possibly get. So if you can use, you know, 80% of the parts that you already have, you know, sitting sitting on a shelf somewhere, well that's gooder. In the goodie bag we have, well there's bag number three, bag number two, bag number one, and a set of nondescript generic strings. We're probably, I mean we might put those on there initially, but those are probably not the strings we're gonna use because if we're gonna to try to put this in standard tuning, uh, we have some tension issues that we need to address. Uh, anyways, uh, bag number one contains, this looks like string trees, pick cover screws, it's just a single ply pick, adjustment wrenches, a couple of strap buttons and fabric washers. Uh, bag number two is, this looks like tuners. Regular, standard tuners. And then bag number three, any guesses? I'm going to say jack and jack plate. Because I looked already. Jack and the jack plate. 
So that is what comes in the in the goodie bag. Let us, uh, as according to the directions, let us remove the bridge, and then we can remove the pit guard, and then we can remove the electronics. All right, we're gonna remove the bridge, which we find, uh, we have our standard uh, three barrel uh, adjustable bridges with a single coil, two wires, uh, ground and line. We'll remove this. Now remember these are delicate wires, so be nice. Single ply pit guard. And then electronics cover, little dime pots, and a um, pretty well laid out switch. Uh, let's look at the body as we see it. Uh, the routing is uh, you know fairly crisp. You can see where they have drilled in through the neck pocket. There's a hole, hole into here. This is how you get the wire from here to here. There's a hole leading into here. And then there's a big hole here for your um, jack. That's what they call it. So that's what we got there. Let's uh, flip this around. So your neck plate is not standard sized, but the rest of the hardware is. This fits a lot looser than I wish it would. So I really shouldn't be able to pull that all the way out. There's a little bit of resistance in there because this is tapered and this is a tapered pocket, but it would have been nicer if this was a little, well, a little fatter, but that's, I'm being picky at this moment. Um, you can see from our body, we, let's flip it over, easier to see. We have one, two, three pieces of mahogany. They are not symmetrical um, uh, you could you could stain it if you wanted to um, there's nothing I mean there's some okay grain but the grain doesn't match all the way across um, you know this could be uh, you know easily considered uh, a paintable body um, you know if you if you're advanced and you really wanted to you could shave the top of that off and you could put something on the top of that uh, you would have to relocate all your holes and your cutouts and stuff, but I mean that's that's easy enough to do. Um, you know, if you check the um, if you check the uh, well, that you can kind of see the corner of it right there. That uh, Tele style body that I made, I had to do that because I put a sheet of Formica on top of mine. It's, you know, it's not impossible. You could do it if you want to, but anyway, so. Um, we could stain, we could stain this if we wanted to. Um, since it is mahogany, it's an open grain wood, which means that we have uh, lots of little holes in the surface, not these holes, but the grain holes in the surface. So we're gonna have to fill those if we want our, if we want our finish to be smooth, which we do. Um, by the way, I have heard from Liam's father who said that he would like to have the color blue. Now the great thing about that is um, blue covers a whole range of things. So we'll have to think long and hard. If you have a suggestion of what blue finish we should put on Liam's tiny guitar, well, you know, uh, put a comment down beneath the sermon notes um, and let me know what you think. Um, we'll see what uh, we can do. Uh, it would be nice if, um, if we could do it with 
uh, and uh, not not nitrocellulose um, because I don't want to have to wait that long. You know, I could get it done a little bit quicker with acrylic. Um, uh, so that's something that we will want to think about. Um, it is it is a good place to start. There is not. There's a little bit of tear out right here on this lower bout. Um, and that is just from um, that is just from when they are routing this out. My guess is um, the bit is going in this direction and it is going against the fibers. If you have a surplus uh, 1080 or higher camera that you want to get rid of, send it to me because I'm tired of dealing with that one. Let's get back to trying to explain this one more time. Let's zoom in here. These are my simulated wood fibers because we all know uh, wood fibers are just long tubes. That's all they are. They carry water, nutrients up into the tree. If we are going in this direction, see how it wants to lift those up and it will tend to tear out the fibers, which is what we call tear out, which we can see right here and it's this is not very bad at all this bit was fairly sharp uh, when they cut this so that's what that is um, we'll just have to sand it uh, we'll pay attention to that when we're sanding it later we will sand it this direction we will not sand it this direction because that's how you get tear out. We'll come this direction sanding, and then we'll come this direction sanding, and then we'll come this direction sanding. <clears throat> uh, the neck is, again, it's a good place to start. There's a ding right here. We might be able to steam that out. There's also a ding right there, but that's probably not going to matter because our pickup will cover that up. So we may only have to do that one little bit of steaming there. It's fairly smooth. It's shaped nicely. Um, the We got some work to do here. Sorry. We have some work to do here. We have uh, the dreaded fret sprout. That's the ends of the fret, the metal ends of the fret uh, pulling against my, my delicate fingers. And so we'll have to do some finishing there um, to get those filed down flush and get those worked over, but that will give us the chance to use some of our new um, Fret Guru tools, uh, hashtag not sponsored. Um, the downside uh, of getting necks in kits is they almost always come like this. Everything's done. Uh, the truss rod is installed, the uh, fretboard is glued on, the frets are installed, the fret dots are glued in. I mean, the nut is even glued in. And um, that kind of takes the fun out of it because that's a, lot of, that's a lot of learning that you can do in that one area. Um, we will have to address this because I got a pretty good amount of wiggle going on there. Um, so again, if you have ideas for what color, because uh, all we know is blue. Look at the instruction manual very quickly. Um, we only have to solder six, uh, six spots in here to make this happen. You get a list of tools that will be helpful. Uh, you get a list of supplies that will be helpful. Uh, finishing supplies that will be helpful. Uh, this has got a 16 inch radius. They give you some that you can um, cut out if you need to. I don't, you can use them to set your string radius. That's what they're wanting you to do. Um, you can pick up a set of these for like next to nothing and then you have a metal one and then you don't destroy your, because if you're gonna, I mean, you're gonna photocopy it onto paper, which is thinner than this or cut the front, anyways. You get a list of the parts that you get what they're called, because if you're 
just doing this for the first time, you might not have any idea what's what's going on here. Um, instructions about how to cut uh, your design for a, a, a headstock out because it gives you just this generic kind of paddle shape. Um, most people don't want that generic paddle shape. They want something, you know, custom. Custom is the big buzzword. Um, they do have links on here for different videos for different processes. They talk a little bit about finishing the fretboard. They talk about sanding the body and the neck, um, degreasing. They talk about uh, grain filling. Uh, they are using a wipe-on poly um, that you can get. There are a number of different ways that you could do it. You could put true oil on it and, you know, call it a day. Give you some very brief instructions on how to assemble it, how to solder it, and then also how to adjust the truss rod because this one has a truss rod, unlike Liam's tiny guitar, which has no truss rod and is, therefore, unadjustable. And they talk very basically about setting up, um, setting your action, setting the pickup height, setting the intonation. Um, so it, it is, um, you know, it says that you could build a real guitar in a weekend. Um, yes, uh, finishing is what's going to take up all your time. So that's what you get when you buy one of these. Like I said, right now they're I think they're $99, $89, something like that. They're not very much. Once we get this done, we'll see what the price of those is, is going to, you know, kind of stay stable at. And if there's a demand and, uh, you know, that this might be a good father and son, mother and son, mother and daughter, pick whatever nomenclature you want. I don't care. Um, this might be a good thing for an adult and a child to do together. Um, and if you're in the Dayton area, who knows, we might even facilitate that uh, at some point. So that's the Stumac Mini T Guitar Kit, hashtag still not sponsored. And that's okay, because I'm going to tell you the way it is, because I'm, I, got no, um, I got no obligations to anybody, because I paid for this with my own hard-earned American pesos. Uh, if you've got questions or comments, put them in the comment section down beneath the sermon notes. Um, if you're not subscribed, consider hitting that subscription button so that you can know uh, the next time we come up with content for Liam's Tiny Guitar. Be sure to comment on what color or what scheme uh, or ideas you think would be good using the word blue that's what Liam wants. So if you talk to me about a cherry sunburst, no, just play along. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you think we've earned it. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, I'm James. This is Rattle Can Guitar Restorations. Tune in next time. Have a good one. Cheers. Hey everybody, thanks for hanging out with us this afternoon here at Rattle Cane Guitar Restorations. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to click my beautiful face above. Hit the bell to be notified next time we drop a video. Here's a video uh, that the Hive Mind has picked out especially for you. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. You guys have a great weekend. Shut up, cat! Cheers.